This video tutorial is provided by the College of Graduate Studies at UCF. In this video, I will review requirements for the Table of Contents and demonstrate how to create and update the Table of Contents. The Table of Contents heading must be centered without any punctuation at the top margin. Headings and subheadings listed in the Table of Contents must be worded exactly as they appear in the manuscript and all page numbers must correspond exactly with those in the manuscript. Entries should appear in the same font style as the body text, with no bold or italicized text. Chapter headings should appear in all caps, with subheadings in title caps. Do not repeat the table of contents heading or use continued for multi-page lists. In the sample ETD, you can see that the Table of Contents only lists pages that follow the Table of Contents page. Sections appearing before the Table of Contents, including the table heading itself, should not be visible in the Table of Contents. Each entry is linked, meaning that if readers click the entry, they will be taken directly to that page. It is important to update the table of contents whenever new content is added so that page numbers will always match the content. Any deviations may result in rejection of the final document. In this video, I will show you how to create and update the table of contents in the Word document. In the Word document, turn on the Show Hide All Formatting button so that you can see any pre-existing formatting. The Table of Contents heading should already have the pre-content style applied as shown in the tutorial for headings with pre-content style. Press Enter after the heading to create a hard return. Now go to the References tab of the ribbon and select Table of Contents. From the drop-down menu, select Custom Table of Contents. This will open a new window where you are able to control what appears in the Table of Contents. To ensure that the Table of Contents only displays headings with the Heading 1 style applied, choose Options. This menu lists all heading styles used in the document. It shows the Heading 1 style marked with the number 1, heading 2 with the number 2, and so on. This indicates their hierarchical level in the Table of Contents. The first level will be aligned left, the second indented a bit from there, and the third further indented, and so on. Scroll down through the list until you come to the pre-content heading. This style has also received a 1 because it is based on the Heading 1 style. Delete the number and click OK to return to the Table of Contents menu. Note that the pre-content style no longer appears in the preview window. Also, check here to make sure that the box is clicked next to Use Hyperlinks instead of Page Numbers. This creates the hyperlinks in your document so that readers can click on the Table of Contents entry and be taken to the corresponding page. Click OK to add the Table of Contents to your document. Once Word has generated the Table of Contents, you can test the links by hovering the cursor over an entry and using Control plus Click to follow the link. If you add or remove content and page numbers have changed, you will need to update the Table of Contents. There are two ways to do this. You can right-click on the Table of Contents to open an Editing menu and select Update Field. In the menu that follows, choose Update Entire Table and then click OK. You can also go to the References tab of the ribbon and choose Update Table button to the right of the Table of Contents. This will also update the entire table. 
This concludes the video tutorial for Table of Contents. If you have any further questions, please use the Format Help section of the Thesis and Dissertation Services site. You may also refer to the PDF instruction file, Table of Contents. For more video tutorials, please return to the Graduate Thesis and Dissertation web course.